So what are we going to do here? Well, I think what we're going to do is a combination of Martin's idea and Ian's idea. And there's a lot of good ideas, a lot of good suggestions here that I've got. But you know, we almost d didn't have an episode today. And actually, <laughs> well, this one isn't uploaded yet, so I'm not even sure. Anyway, what happened was last night about 8 o'clock, I'm uh, sitting in front of the computer and I'm watching a movie. And if you want to know which one it was, it was called Catch Me If You Can. And this movie is taking a long time to get going. It was one of these long movies that has a lot of uh, stuff at the beginning to set the scene. And I was getting bored like I was watching an episode of that guy in Winnipeg building a model ship. And uh, anyway, uh, the power goes off around 8 o'clock. And uh, I sit there and, of course, my battery backup kicks in and I quick shut everything down because it'll only run my computer for about 15-20 minutes and then it's uh, the battery's, battery's dead. So uh, I shut everything quickly down and the only thing left running was my uh, internet router uh, uh, modem thing. And uh, neighbor phones. And uh, they're kind of worried, is your power off? Yep. And, well, how come the power's on across the street? Well, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I went on the Internet, found out that about 1,800 customers were out of power for a while because it was what they called a pole fire. So, anyway, I figured this could last a while. And I eventually went to bed. And uh, I did shut my, uh, back, my battery back up off because I knew that if I woke up in the morning and the... Uh, power was still off, I wouldn't be able to go on the internet to see what's going on. Anyway, you're getting more information here than you need, right? Anyway, I woke up in the morning, I'm guessing around 2.30. Power was back on. I don't know when it went on, but anyway, that, that was good. Now my fridge won't thaw out. <laughs> I didn't need to worry about the furnace because it's, uh, it wasn't that cold in the house anyway. Uh, yeah, springtime finally got here in Winnipeg. Like I say, you're getting more information than you need. Anyway, back to these ideas. Yeah, I'm gonna, let's, let's go to the model table here and uh, we'll talk about it. Now, before I get going here, I should mention that there was a lot of really good ideas. And uh, just because I do not use your idea doesn't mean I thought it was a dumb idea. There were no dumb ideas. Now I know occasionally there are dumb ideas batted back and forth. Like maybe uh, uh, somebody makes a comment and I get back to them be that I can't use their idea uh, because uh, the item is so small and I'll be sarcastic and I'll say something to the effect of well maybe if I held it down with one foot and uh, then I could grab hold of it with both hands or something like that. Well that's a dumb idea. Uh, you know, <laughs> but we're kidding around and it's supposed to be dumb, but there were no dumb ideas here. Uh, I appreciate the comments and, and so on. Anyway, so what am I doing here now? Okay, now I was thinking it might be a real good idea to know how far out is the, from here to here, like on these longer ones, uh, are we actually going to be fastening? And, and the longer ones, uh, they go from right here uh, to right here. I, I had thought that possibly they went from here to this one, but they don't. I just checked a photograph, and if you look real close on the photograph, you can see that it runs from this, this part here to this part right here. Um, okay, so, so what is the distance there? It's just for the fun of it, see how long it's going to take me to figure out how to do this. I guess we'll move our, our, uh, treasured easy line here that Tony sent us. Alrighty. Now you may not be able to see exactly what I'm doing, but I'm just touching both of them. Now where is that going to come on our piece of paper here? Oh my goodness, we don't have a whole lot of room. Well, in a way, that's kind of good. And later on, I'll explain why. So we could just... 
Okay, there we go. Uh, now the shorter ones, well they go from right here, no, sorry, mistake, from right here to right here. You know, I like the idea that when I catch on this I'm not going to break it. hard to look at both of these at the same time here. Okay, that'll give us a rough idea. start. Well, I think what we're going to do is we're going to start with uh, Martin's Martin's idea. And uh, yeah, just let me get my little piece of uh, styrofoam here that I can poke pins into. All right, which way should we have this run here? We'll do the uh, longer one first. Now I know you don't want to have to watch me doing this, so... Uh, uh, okay, so it's going to go from there. Well, let's just put one in there. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and set this up here. Now, unless I have misunderstood here, uh, what Martin was suggesting is that we take our easy, our easy line here and uh, we would go right around the entire hexagon shape that we have here. Now, I had to read his comment three or four times because uh, the word hexagon was throwing me. To me, this was a triangle, not a hexagon. Then I realized he meant the entire thing. Then it all sort of made sense here. And we would stretch our easy line, something like this. And then after we get it fastened, probably to this post out right over here, then I think the idea was to lay the little cross piece, which I have since lost, but I can find another one. We, we would lay it across and glue it on. Um, well, we could try that and see how it goes. I mean, the, the, the idea is good. You can see we're going to have something really, really nice and delicate going on here. And when you look at it up close, it's not going to look big and clunky, providing that where I fasten the spreader bar, I don't have a, a glob of glue, so that's going to be the tricky part. We have to make four of these, as you can see. In all likelihood, I'll probably be doing six or eight before I'm through to get, you know, four good ones. Uh, I hope not. It would be nice if everyone went really well on the first try, but uh, usually that sort of thing doesn't work out. Anyway, enough rambling here. Now here is where I hope you're watching in high definition, because if you're not, you may not be able to see some of these little delicate pieces that we're de dealing with here. Now this is going to represent our uh, spreader bar. And uh, of course we try to fasten it a little bit closer up here to where it's supposed to be. Now I, I wouldn't want to put it right up against the uh, pins, because when I glue it down I'll probably end up gluing it to the pins. Um, now you have to remember this will probably be stretched up and be up up here, maybe halfway up the pin. But anyway, what I want to talk about is is this right here. If this part right here is easy line, the whole assembly might be kind of flimsy, and it may end up being difficult to have this entire uh, antenna array uh, horizontal. 
Uh, by horizontal, I mean horizontal this way. So it's sort of sort of flat. Um, as near as I can tell from photographs I've seen, uh, the, these two lines are, are are the same height off the deck, if you know what I mean. In other words, this is flat this way. Um, so here's where uh, Ian's idea came in. And he was talking about a, a coat hanger, that, that this triangle reminded him of a coat hanger. And, well, yeah, it does. Um, quit poking. Anyway, I'm going to go down to the workshop, and I'm going to get some wire. A lot of people suggested uh, use the fine wire out of, like, an extension cord or something like that. I know exactly what they're talking about. And I've got lots of that. But it's down in the workshop, so I'll be back in a minute. Be a second for you. Okay, I just uh, snipped off some odds and ends here, and uh, most of these are the same, even though they're from, from different wires. Um, some may be a little bit... Uh, well, this will be this will be solid wire. I'm not sure what this is. It feels like it, it feels like solid wire. Anyway, I'm going to get the jackets uh, skinned off and try and get some individual strands going on here. And uh, I got a feeling we'll be able to make our mini coat hanger out of that. Well, here it is. It's afternoon already, and I haven't got a whole lot done. Um, got our uh, easy line and our little piece of uh, railing that we were going to use as a spreader bar just here for comparison. Now clearly this piece of 14 gauge house wire that's out. And this wire here which I thought might be good when you compare it to the, the uh, piece of railing well it's just way too heavy. So, so this is out. Now this wire here came out of one of these. There was actually uh, four of these in the uh, in the jacket, and I th think it's some sort of telephone or communication wire or something like that. I think it's telephone wire, but I'm not sure. And um, it it might be just about right. It, it's a it's a little bit heavy. Well, it's a lot heavier than than our uh, than our railing, but. Um, it it might look okay. Now this this wire here came out of this, and uh, I'm I'm just wondering how well it's is it going to stand up. Uh, it it might end up kind of squashing on us. You remember when I was measuring this one here? Uh, I accidentally squashed it. Well, I'm afraid that this one could also buckle. Now these ones over here came out of here. This one came out of here, and uh, it's it's definitely too light, even though it is more. Uh, well, you know, I think it's smaller. I didn't measure any of these, by the way, so I don't know. Um, yeah, the, these ones here, I believe, are we can't use these, so uh, we'll forget about them. Now, now this one here, where is it? Yeah, this one here. Do you remember about a year ago when we were? working at the stern of the ship and there was supposed to be two vents coming up out of the stern and and one of them was uh, we lost one well I lost one and uh, I was saying we could always make the other one out of a piece of wire I think that this is almost the exact diameter now you might be a viewer out there and you're saying to yourself hey I'm the one that suggested that and you're probably right because thinking about it now I got the idea from one of you viewers Thank you very much. I remembered. I don't like to be taking credit for uh, somebody else's ideas as much as I'd like to. Anyway, let's carry on here. Just make sure I have a little, something with a little hook on the end of it and paint it and plug it in. It'll look okay. Um, I think this one would be too small for that. Okay, so we're kind of limited to this one right here. So my plan is... I'll put the macro lens on later, is to see if we can't just make a little a little coat hanger type shape thing out of this. And how, how scrugal would it be afterwards? 
Now it'll, the idea is that if this part right here is also wire, then the whole thing can be um, adjusted into the, the, to the shape we want and it's going to stay that way. Whereas if it's, if it's easy line running between here and here, it's going to want to sort of maybe flop over one way or the other because the easy line is just too uh, uh, flexible. Anyway, that's my thinking. I gotta keep poking, don't I? Why can't I leave stuff alone? Now, once again, just for perspective, there's our easy line. Here's our little piece of railing. And uh, now this wire here, we concluded it was going to be just a little bit too heavy. And this is the one here that we are going to try and make a coat hanger out of. So, uh, how are we going to bend this now? This is going to be interesting. Okay, maybe if I'll go around like this. Mm, no, this, is, this isn't working. Okay, so I want it now to be, maybe pull this out, pull this over like this, put it back in, yeah, that kind of worked. Now let's get this down here. Now we're going to want to make, I'm going to have to move my easy line out of the way. I'm going to want to make a sharp bend here. sharp bend. Hold this down. Oh, oops, let's get this out of the way. Go around here like this. Okay. Now, I'm going to go just a little bit more here. See, I want this, I want this bend here to be a little bit sharper. Maybe I'm using some, the wrong tool here. Maybe if I use something flat like this, hold it down. Let's go around like that. Okay. Now. Okay, it's kind of the right shape, except that it doesn't really look like a spreader bar, does it? Well, I gotta be able to somehow fasten these together. If I was to twist them, maybe if I was to take it off of there and just hold it with the tweezers or something like that and, and twist it, well then it's going to look like a coat hanger, but it's also going to look like a coat hanger. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have to think about this. Uh, what if I take these, take these out, see what we got here. Okay. Now, is it possible to hold these together somehow and twist this? Well, not when it's down on the paper, I can tell you that. Um, I'm going to have to hold it up in the air where I can see it. And uh, I think we're going to call it to <laughs> a day for today's video, folks. Thanks for watching, and all being well, we'll see you tomorrow, and we'll see what happened here. I'll do my best. <laughs>